Why do we fart? That question huh? popped into Aum Sum's mind one quiet afternoon, as he sat in his room, flipping through a book, only to be interrupted by a loud, unexpected sound coming from himself. His eyes widened, and he paused, completely still. It was unmistakable. A fart. A real, rumbling, squeaky little puff that came from nowhere and left behind nothing but mystery and a very curious Om Sum. He glanced around the room as if the furniture might be judging him, but then he started to giggle. Farting was funny, sure, but what actually caused it? Why did his body make those odd little noises at the most random times? That's what his brain decided to figure out. He leaned back on his pillow, hands behind his head, and let his imagination wander through the insides of his own body, looking for answers. Amsum imagined his stomach and intestines as long, twisty tunnels, like a super-secret factory hidden inside him, working non-stop. Every time he ate, he was sending food down into that factory. Today's lunch had included a big plate of beans, a boiled egg, some juicy watermelon, and a fizzy drink. All of it had disappeared happily down his throat, but now it was moving through that inner maze of muscles, being broken down and sorted. He imagined the food meeting tiny workers inside his digestive system. These workers weren't people, though. They were bacteria. Millions and millions of tiny, invisible helpers living in his intestines. And they were busy. Their job was to break down parts of food that his stomach couldn't handle alone, especially things like beans, fruits, and vegetables. The bacteria were experts at this, but their work came with a side effect. As the bacteria broke down the food, they created gas. Not the kind of gas you put in a car, but little puffs of air made up of things like nitrogen, carbon dioxide, and methane. All this gas started building up inside Omsum's intestines, like balloons slowly filling with air. The more food the bacteria had to break down, especially fiber-rich stuff like beans and fruits, the more gas they made. And sometimes, fizzy drinks added even more air to the mix, like shaking a soda can and putting it into your tummy. Om Sum pictured the gas trying to find a way out. It pushed and bubbled and bounced around inside his belly until it found the easiest exit. The end of the line, the bottom of the digestive system. That's when the fart happened. Lying there on his bed, Om Sum felt another tiny puff escape. He didn't even flinch this time. He just smiled to himself and patted his belly like he was saying thanks to the tiny workers inside. His curiosity had turned something funny into something fascinating. Hmm.